What's up guys? Welcome to our channel. We have had a great day. We actually just finished up a delicious dinner. It's crazy. We've been doing a lot more cooking lately. If you guys have not seen our cooking vlogs, definitely go check them out. I'll link them in the description below. But we've been cooking like crazy. We've been cooking up salads, pasta salads. We've been cooking up all sorts of desserts. Just like really, really good, delicious food. But tonight, you guys, we have something pretty exciting going on. We are actually going to be FaceTiming Brittany's sister and brother-in-law, Nate and Michelle. A lot of you guys probably already know who they are because we've done a lot of vlogs with them. But for those of you who, who do not know they are, so Michelle is Brittany's sister and they're like best friends. And Nate is Michelle's husband and they live out in New York City because of Nate's job. And a lot of you guys have been asking us about Michelle and Nate and how they're doing out in New York City just because it is like the center of everything that's going on right now. So we asked them if we could actually just FaceTime and vlog it and they were super cool about it and so we are going to be doing that later tonight. In fact, I need to go get that set up. So next time you see me, we'll be FaceTiming them. I that is my favorite. The boys can just go away now, huh? <laughs> hey, did you guys say hi to Finner? <laughs> <laughs> look at him, look at you guys. <laughs> He's doing his hot <laughs> You guys, he's never looked at a computer like that. He totally looked at you guys. <laughs> For anyone new to our channel, this is my beautiful little sister, Michelle, and her husband, Nate. So for those of you who do not know, we helped with the proposal for Nate and Michelle. Nate proposed to Michelle in Hawaii. Oh, it Super was pretty. so fun. So a ton of our subscribers have been asking about you guys, asking how you're doing out there, because obviously they know that you guys moved out to New York recently. And so they just want us to know what life's kind of like out there, how you guys are doing and just checking on you guys. I think it's so sweet of everyone to ask about I us. know, right? Yeah. How long have you been in New York now for? About three months. Yeah, three months yesterday. Three months yesterday? That's crazy. What part of Manhattan? You're like right by the World Trade Center, right? So there's different like boroughs to New York City. Uh -huh. So we live in Manhattan, which is like the island. We live in the financial district. And so there's still lots of cases here in Manhattan, but the worst parts are like out in the Bronx and the Queens. So it's- Some of the outer bureaus is where it's been hardest hit. <laughs> and you- Bureaus, <laughs> bureaus. <laughs> FBI. Sometimes we forget that we're living in the epicenter simply right. because we stay inside all day long. Yeah. yeah. So one thing that's really cool that we wanted to share with you guys is every night at seven, the whole city, basically, wherever you are, you just cheer out your window because that's when the healthcare workers switch shifts. It's a very like hopeful and inspiring few minutes. So you guys filmed it earlier today, right? Yeah. And you're gonna, they're gonna send us that footage. So we'll show you that to you right now. Oh! How cool is that? That just gives you the cold chills and I cannot believe everyone does that every day. You guys aren't even by the hospital, right? You're pretty far away. Yeah, we're like at least a 10 minute walk. So it's not like we're even in the vicinity of it. So Nate, kind of with your job, I know it's been a big change, but kind of what's day to day life like now for you being in the banking industry, which is such a crazy industry, usually, you know, long work hours and things like that. What's kind of everyday life like for you right now? Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. My job was supposed to be an essential worker. I work in finance and all of our teams are just completely working for, through Zoom and conference calls and we just literally work from home. That's crazy. And when you look out your windows, I know it's dark right now, but like, are the streets just like empty? Like what, what is it? So during the day you can go out and there'll be a couple people but the streets are like almost empty, especially compared to when you see them with all the tourists. So there's like no one in the streets. It's just super quiet. Times Square is like empty. No one's That's around nuts. in any shops. Some people have described it as eerie which I guess that's one way, but we were saying like, it's kind of historical. We don't know of another time where New York really didn't have any tourists. 
pretty much founded, people have always been coming, you know, whether that's like immigrants or visitors, like people from all over the world have come to New York. Yeah. That's, and this is like a time where no one is here. Besides except for New, New Yorkers. Yorkers. That's, cr I never really thought of it that way. Yeah, I never thought at of it all. either. That's so yeah. true. When do you guys get out of the house? Kind of what's your normal week like? New York for the most part is really good at social distancing. So everyone stays inside. We usually go to the grocery store like every other week. Mm -hmm. We try and stock that pretty well. So we have a Target and a Whole Foods and their shelves are constantly empty. I think just because of the amount of people that live here in Manhattan and the number of restaurants that they're normally going to. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh People yeah. Are to cook. They can't stock the shelves fast enough here in Manhattan. So there's always a line. I've had to wait at least 30 minutes every time. And then they only let, you know, a set amount of people in. And there are heard... lines that go like two blocks or three blocks. Wow. Even. You guys want to show everyone a tour of your cute apartment? Let us see what NYC living looks like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very big. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cute though. So the tour's not long. So <laughs> <laughs> or you might miss <laughs> it this is where I, I cook all of our meals. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> so here is Nate's office slash kitchen table. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Then we have our little family room. So cute. I don't know if you can see it. Shell did such a cute job decorating it. And then we have our bedroom. Didn't you guys see that big naval ship that they turned into a hospital like come across the Hudson? It was so huge and there was like a whole fleet of ships like probably 20 or 30 ships that came with it. Wow, and coming in. Helicopters and everything. Yeah, and, and that was also another time like all the fire and like trucks and everything were revving their engines, welcoming them to New York. Wow, cool. and so are they, do you know, are they using that right now as a hospital then? Yeah, yep, so it's not like full to capacity or anything, but they've been using it for some of the people who would normally go to the hospitals. Got it. So that they can keep the hospitals just for COVID patients. That's so cool. Well, you guys, we're so glad you're doing well though. If any of you guys have questions for Nate or Michelle, drop them in the comments below. We can't wait till we can go on more trips with these two. We just love them. All right, guys, well, we love you. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, you guys, I just love them. Them. I miss my sister so much. I talk to her like every day. So seriously, she does. I know what's going on there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit more of what it's like inside the epicenter of this whole thing. And if you guys want to hear more or learn more, definitely let us know because they are totally willing to do that again. They actually really enjoyed it. I know, they thought it was so sweet. You guys were concerned about them and wanted to know how they were doing. So thank you so much for caring about our family. It's just, that's another reason why we just love all of you guys so much. And a lot of you guys have been asking about Britt and I and how we're doing, we are doing better. We're just kind of like, Dory on Finding Nemo, just keep swimming, just keep <laughs> We're swimming. We're swimming through the current like we all are, right guys? Like I said earlier, I think that is just incredible how New Yorkers are coming together in this time where they are definitely being affected so much right now with this whole virus. And just hearing them cheer like that just gave me goosebumps. I, I know, seriously. So incredible. I, did you guys get the chills when you watched that? Like, oh, yeah. I got, I honestly, the first time when we did it live with them, she was FaceTiming us live a couple weeks ago. Like, I had tears in my eyes. It just gave me the cold chills. It was really, really cool. Yeah. It is really cool to just basically see, like, when the world is in a time of crisis, people yeah. just band together. Yeah. I think we are going to call it for tonight. It's getting a little bit late here. But we love you guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Come join our family. And we will see you guys next time. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.